you so much for being our next guest on the Quarantini Chat, oh, Meredith you. Inglesby. And for those that don't know you, right, she is a triple threat, talented, beautiful star of stage and screen. And we are just so excited to have you on here. Thank you, darling. Let's cheers. Darling. What you got? I've got a little watermelon frozen concoction this time because it's so hot. Do you have a good serious martini? A serious, dirty teeny. Perfect. Cheers, love. Cheers. So when I asked you a week ago, I guess it was about a week ago, to be on the show, yeah. um, you were still in New York City, but mm -hmm. ironically, even though we're chatting over video, you're now in Hilton Head Island. Do you notice the light is the same? <laughs> With the same, same sunshine, <laughs> yeah. same weather. I know it is so uh, so funny. Uh, we just got here a couple days ago. We escaped New York City finally. We were there the whole five months of quarantine in a in a New York City Manhattan apartment with a seven year old. Ooh. Ooh. Please wear masks, please, <laughs> so that the theater people can go back to work. <laughs> It is very uh, necessary for all of yes. us. Yes. Oh. oh my gosh. Did okay. So before quarantine, did any any jobs get derailed? I was supposed to go on uh, Disney Cruise Line and play oh. Mother Gothel, and they called three days before I was supposed to leave and said, "Stop. Wait. Right there. We're closing things down. Don't come." And it worked out perfectly because uh, I would have been stuck on the ship for two months in port, right? Literally, I would have just been stuck on, on the ship without my child and my husband and just mm -mm. sitting around doing nothing. So I'm very grateful that oh, timing happened that way. And here I am. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's just truly really incredible. I can't yeah. imagine if you'd gotten stuck in that scenario. Mm -mm. And then you got really involved with Disney very early on in your career. That was your first national tour, right? On the record? Yep, with them? yep. On the record was... Um, yeah, that was my first Disney show. And I got it by the flukiest thing. I mean, I just wanted to uh, go to this audition. Not that. It was for Spamalot on Broadway. And I went in and they said, okay, you're not quite right for this, but have you see been seen for On the Record? And I said, no. And they called me um, like two minutes later. Yeah. And um, three or four auditions later, I booked it. And then that led to the next Disney and the next Disney and the next Disney. And yeah you know, kind of informed my career from then on. Well, during quarantine, you and Steve, your husband, your darling husband, were so wonderful to appear in our Art Center's Encores video. We loved that. Oh, it was so fun. But at the end of your video, you talked about, and I don't know if all of our viewers will know this, but you grew up on Hilton Head mm -hmm. and you were very influenced with the arts culture here. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how growing up here informed going into a career of theater? It completely informed it. I would never have even considered that as a career choice. Um, I was always uh, artistic and always musical. I went to Hilton Head Prep and they right. had an amazing music and, and um, drama department, but I, I definitely would never have thought of it as a career choice had that not been available. Right. And the art center having these amazing production productions, these amazing professional productions. I think the martini's already kicking. In. <laughs> Good girl, I like it. I I'm losing my words. Um, I got cast in um, My Fair Lady as Eliza Doolittle, oh, right. and all the people in the cast with me, most of them were from New York City, and they all said, "Well, you should just go try it. You should go move and see." And I, so I, I did, and it, it worked out. <laughs> Well, we have some fun video questions. Okay. First, yeah. The first video caller question is from one of your best friends, Alexandria the Paris. Oh my gosh. Hey. hey, Mayor. Which was your favorite villain to play? Was it Ursula, Lady Tremaine, or Mother Gothel? I know which was my favorite to see you play. Ursula. Uh, that is a hard question because they're all fun to play. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, I think, I think Mother Gothel, because Ursula's fun. Don't get me wrong; she right. is just she's like a big old drag queen. She's just wonderful and <laughs> over the top. But Mother Gothel is like, mm, 
Devilish. She is and different kind of evils. She's, she's like entangled, right? Or she's like entangled. Mother? She's okay. the, the the witch mother. Bad. That, she that, is that, bad. Bad. Mm-hmm. Played by Donna Murphy in the movie. Yes. Phenomenal. I think Tangled's one of the best Disney scores. It's sort of underrated, and it's so good. No, it's so and good. The story is so good, and so I think Mother Gothel. Okay. I think I kind of am more like look more her too. So it's like, no, you don't look like, no, you don't look like any of Sam's the, the big hair, but I mean, I kind of am, I give a vibe. So I think it's mother. Uh-huh. Thank you, Alex. All right. So speaking of Ursula, mm-hmm. we do, you, you played her on Broadway in the little mermaid. I was. And I want to know how you went from Meredith stunning to Ursula scary in that makeup every single night. I have a video of that. Oh, you do? Yeah. You want to see it? Yes. This was from the national tour as Ursula, and it was, okay. um, yeah. So how long did that entire process take? Uh, approximately 35-ish, 40 minutes. It was- Wow, really, that's not bad at all. I know. I love doing makeup, so it was like a, they taught me how to do it, and then I just did it every night. Yes. And was, oh my gosh, fun. that's great. Was yeah. that a heavy and hot costume, though? Yeah. I think it weighed about 60 pounds. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my it like gosh. had tentacles that were, you know, a 10 foot radius and yeah, it was pretty amazing. Oh. <laughs> and that was the off, that was the national tour. Right. Um, Broadway was a totally different costume, totally different design. There was like two separate costumes and one of them had tentacles that were just normal. And the other one had this like sort of peacock feather piece that draped mm-hmm. behind you and you would put your arms through and lift it uh, at the end. So it, looked like this giant peacock um oh, so how, cool how did you make her your own because she's definitely a villain everyone loves to hate how did you make her yours sherry scott sherry renee scott played it on broadway originally and she was so wonderful and so different and i remember she was talking about how she was making it her own and she had like influences of like david bowie and mick jagger Ooh, and like she was cool. using all these like ra- yeah. like rock star people and i think i did the same thing i think i i i you know took a little Maleficent and a little, you know, there was definitely some Mick Jagger in there. Like, you know, it was like- I love it. You have to just kind of, well, you know, especially cause they cast it so physically different from the original movie that right. you had to kind of find your own way through it. So our next video caller is Ooh. Stuart Marlin. <gasps> Hi, Andrea. Hi, Meredith. So Meredith and I haven't worked together yet at the Art Center of Coastal Carolina, but we have worked together on Broadway, on a national tour, and off Broadway. So my question to Meredith is about what actors go through together as they create meaningful onstage relationships. Meredith, my question is, of all the shows we've worked together on so far, which performance of mine is your favorite? Cheers. (laughs) <laughs> he wants to know what you like about him. <laughs> That's fantastic, Stuart. Uh, I would say Snyder in Newsies. He was so mm-hmm. evil. He was so evil. Yeah, he was. He, he played such a good Snyder. And he's, oh, you're so evil. You're so, so good. I know. Why am I so drawn to the villains? I don't, I don't know what it is. It's, it's not sweet. real life. So you, it's not real life. You're sweet and good in real life. And this is just like, let it rip, baby. Yeah. You, you know, I try to practice kindness in, in, in every day you do. I can. And so I get to get on stage and, and no, that's, I want to be. That's right. Thank you, Stuart. Mm-hmm. Okay. Video question number three is from Nick Thompson. Take it away, Nick. Hey, Meredith and Andrea. Nick Thompson here. Meredith, my question for you is, during our time when we worked together in Spamalot, what was a recently developed physical attribute that you had that caused challenges for costuming and struggles during choreography rehearsals? (laughs) Nicholas. He's so bad. I had just recently, while performing The Lady of the Lake at the Art Center, I had just recently given birth. So, the physical attributes he's referring to were the tatas. <laughs> the tatas. They were quite something. 
They were. They were quite something. Yes. And and I, it was perfect because the Lady of the Lake should be this buxom broad. Like she's, right. you know. And, and it was yes. that perfect costume that the cinched in, yeah. you know. They oh, were right about here. <laughs> All pushed up and right about there. And you could and they might have hit me in the face a few times. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. And you had to figure out how to sing with all that going on. It was a lot. We can't talk about spam a lot without talking about your co-star in life and on stage, King Arthur, Steve Blanchard. <laughs> yes. Is he nearby? He is nearby. Would you like he me to call him? Yes, could we bring Oh Steve? Him? Oh Steve. Oh, there he is. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> I hear all sorts of madness, insanity going on here. I love that mask. Oh, that mask. Wear your dad going mask. Wear your mask, peeps. <laughs> Did you bring yourself a quarantini? Did you pour yourself one? It can be a virgin one. Oh, I love Do it. Do a cat got his climbing gear? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, honey. Yay. Cheers, love. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so you two tell the audience the fabulous fall in love, how you met story. You talk, I've been talking. Uh, one day during Beauty and the Beast on the Broadway, I came in as I usually do about an hour before a curtain. Oh, you're telling this story. And oh. there was this uh, <laughs> hot brunette at the call board signing in and I said, who is that? I had been working there for about eight months at this point. <laughs> Steve, how'd you miss her for eight months? Well, because you've got to understand that in beauty, everyone is covered from the ah. neck to the toe in gotcha. a costume. He was the beast and you I was a bet, and we just mm -hmm. didn't have any interaction on stage or off, really, because he was he would he was all furry and would run straight to his dressing room and get on behind the fan. Right. He was so yeah. hot. So and, we really uh, just didn't talk much. And there you go. <laughs> before that. I love it. Then all of a sudden he was talking to me. Um, huh, yeah, suddenly he's making sure he's at that call board at that same time. <laughs> <laughs> did you no. did you ask her out right away? What did you do? No, uh, we were in relationships with other people at yeah. the time. And, and we became friends, obviously, just because we were, you know, working together and kind of broke up with our people right around the same time yeah. as a by chance and um but but coincidentally enough she used to come into my dressing room oh, and right. ask for a back crack at halftime because halftime is the only time i had really brilliant so <laughs> i never said i wasn't a flirt what <laughs> you got gay Once, girl I, don't, I think i thought you were cute but i wasn't like whatever what else? How dare you? And here we are. All right, so <laughs> yes, here we are. Here no, we but, are. But we, Thirteen we, years later. But we, Speaking of love, okay, let's go back to your relationship. Are you ready to play a game? Let's see how well you really know each other. Do we know each other? No, not I at all. Pass me you. the paper and the and the pen. Oh, papers. Pass the paper. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna ask you a question. One will be directed about Stevie. You still have to write your own answer down and, and okay. Meredith will try to guess the right answer. You'll back to back oh, and okay. then we'll reveal. You ready? Okay. Yes. Okay. What is Meredith's most important pre-show ritual? Oh, uh, pre-show ritual. Pre-show ritual is... Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Answer. Oh, steam. Oh, oh, that oh. Was, but this is more important. All right, what else? <laughs> That's out. That's Next. One, one point. Mail. <laughs> okay, this one's about Steve. Yeah. What is Steve's first, first, like, role ever played? This can be. Kindergarten, so. She knew this. <laughs> After martinis? Yep, you gotta, you gotta um, go there. Your first, first, first? First, first, first. Was you he? No, no, you're gonna fail. <laughs> oh, God. Ready? Ready? Yes. One, two, three.
What is that? Football play, player fail. <laughs> and that's, it's perfect because this, this didn't work. And so I went to this in <laughs> How We Knew Sim in Our Town was my first See? show. We do know each other. You do know each 19... other. Don't I have to give that point to Steve? Half point? I got to review with the judges who wins yeah. that All one. Right. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Number three. Meredith's favorite song to belt in the shower. Do you mean now? It changes. Andrea? Yes, now? currently, sure, currently. Let's okay, currently, it. yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Currently. Okay, that's good. That's easy. <laughs> you got it? You got, got it. it, I got you it. Got it, Steve, you ready? Yep. One. It's made him today. Party. Yeah! Good one. Okay. Do you want to show yourself, everybody, from <laughs> Frozen 2? Such a good song. Oh, That's a good song. Oh my God. And Dina Menzel. I wish. I wish I could sing like that. Okay. Steve's guilty pleasure snack during quarantine. Guilty pleasure Oh, oh, snack. easy. Easy. Really? Oh, yeah. Do I have one? <laughs> yes. Think. Think. Does it have alcohol in it? I'm not telling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Rum cookies. Oh, rum cookies. Oh. <laughs> They're kind of the same. Rum cookies sound good. Is there a recipe for that? He oh my god. Makes them. Oh my god. It is unbelievable. He had to stop because he had a problem. I had a problem. I stop. <laughs> Off the chart. World changing. He's posting the recipe on Please. this website. <laughs> the readers need the recipe. The listeners no, need the recipe. I need the recipe. And I'm gonna just call that a tie. The bottom yeah. line is, you guys know each other really, really well. That is great. Thank you, you so really much. Did. Thank you very much. Even I'll be the, here all week. Even the wrong answers were like, kind of ish. Right. Even yeah, the wrong ish. answers were ish. They were ish. Come say hi. It's your turn. It's Ren. time. Come here. What this on? is Ren. Hi, Ren. How are you? Oh my gosh, you've gotten so big. Are you seven? <laughs> <laughs> that is so grown. Oh she my is a drama, gosh. a drama princess. I don't know where she gets it. Sings oh, all day long, acts out songs all day long, and that's what she does. So I love that. Oh my gosh, y'all should perform a little something for us. Look at her face. Well, we could, but our daughter would probably start crying. You. She cries. She cries when we sing. Yeah. She has a lot of feelings. She has a lot of feelings. She has a visceral <laughs> connection to music. So whenever we start singing, she Happy or what? No, just really like mm. emotional, visceral reaction to music. Yeah, that's so sweet though. I mean, I mean we can demonstrate it for you right now. I mean, she will come I... in here sobbing. If we sing Edelweiss right now, or, it is <laughs> over. Uh, oh my god! Don't stop your crying. It'll be all right. Tarzan. Just take my hand and hold it tight. I will protect you from all around you. <laughs> I will be here. Don't you cry. No, don't do that. It's For one so small, you seem so strong. My eyes will hold you, keep you safe and warm. My bond between us. Can't be broken. I will be here. Don't you cry. <laughs> okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Don't torture her. I know. I was a little off. Oh my god, that was beautiful though. You were very goodish. You were very good. We were very goodish. Well, I love you both so much and cannot. Thank you enough for coming on and taking time it. out of your day. Got it's it, just so hours. hard. We're doing so much right now. We're so busy. Our schedule is very, very packed. So very packed. Hard. If you are carving it out of your schedule. We love seeing you. I love seeing y'all. All, All okay. right, guys, thank you so much for being on. We love you dearly. Our island loves you. The world loves you. Thank you. Mwah. Cheers. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.